This video will show you how to create a Gmail API app in the Google Developer Console. Search for Google Developer Console and click on the first click. In the Manage Resources, click the Create Project button at the top. Give a befitting name to your project. Choose the organization, if any. Choosing an organization will allow the domain administrator to access this project and its resources. Choose the project location then click Create button. In the notification section on the top right, you can see the project creation process going on. Once the project is created, click on the Select Project button. This will open the project's dashboard. Here you can add people to this project, check API requests per second, etc. Now, click on the three lines in the top left corner. Click on the API and Services options. Click on the Library option on the left. In the search box, search for Gmail API. It will look like this, click on it. After that, click on the Enable button. Now the Gmail API is enabled for this project. You can check the status is enabled. Now we have created a Gmail API app, it's time to create an OAuth 2 client ID. After that, select the Credentials options on the left. Then, click on the Create Credentials button at the top and select the OAuth client ID option. Before creating an OAuth client ID, we first need to configure the user consent screen. First, click on the Configure Consent Screen option at the extreme right. Choose the user type either internal or external. If you choose then you need to add users to the list of test users in order to provide access to them. Click on the Create button. Provide the name of the app which is asking for consent. Provide a support email address. Rest information includes the app logo, policy page, home page, etc. which is optional. Provide the developer's contact information and click on the Save and Continue button at the bottom. If you want to add some specific data from the user's Google account then you can add scopes accordingly. Next, click on the Save and Continue button at the bottom. Now the consent screen is configured, you need to go back to the dashboard. Click on the Credentials option on the left. Again click on the Create Credentials and select the OAuth Client ID option. Choose the type of application. In our case, it's a web application. Give a befitting name to your OAuth 2 client. In the authorized redirect URIs, you need to add your application's redirect URI. Click on the Create button at the bottom. The OAuth client is successfully created. You will be able to see the client ID and client secret in the dialog box. If you want then you can also download the JSON that comprises the client ID and client secret. Click on the newly created OAuth client to see more details. Thanks for watching this video.